So in this video, I'm doing a contour tag and I'm creating this one because before the old, the insta fleek started happening, I was doing contouring like for a decade because this face needs some definition. It is just a giant round nothingness that is my face to the point that it's like, I need some character, I need some sh uh, structure, a big old oblong head here. So yeah, contour is the key if you don't have really sharp chiseled cheekbones or in my case, I've got a, like a uh, non-existent chin, so I need to define and stop the roundness down here. <laughs> so otherwise, for everything we love that is contour, here's your tag. So my first question is, what is your favorite powder contour? Now in this case, it could be a loose powder if you wanted to, but in my case, it's actually an eyeshadow. So it's a pressed uh, powder, which is uh, Makeup Forever's Grey Beige, which is this lovely shade right here. I've got a swatch. It's desaturated. It's not warm like as in pink or um, orange, which sometimes can happen with the uh, taupe color. So yeah, it's very desaturated, very gray. I guess it leans a little bit yellow, but then again, my skin tone is uh, an olive tone. So that might be just my skin tone coming through, but it just works so well as a natural light contour that isn't going to be too heavy. And it's very effortless to blend out without it looking like too strong. My next question is your favorite cream contour and yeah, honestly, you're probably looking theatrical and for the most part or industry brands when you're looking for a cream contour. My, I have two in this case and yeah, first one is um, Ilan Masca Hollow Pigment, it's a cream pigment, so this shade here right here and this was very, very, oh, it's so dense. <laughs> It's a very dense, very high pigmentation color, and it's just, yeah, it takes a little blending into. Again, it's desaturated. It leans a little yellow on me, uh, which is good. It might be too orange for someone that has a more pink undertone for a contour, but yeah, that was my first pick. My second love, and love, is actually the new Elamasca, not Elamasca, sorry, Anastasia. Contra kit for fair skin. Um, I like this palette a lot. I do have some beefs with the uh, highlight shades because they're almost like foundation shades for me. They're not uh, pale enough to actually highlight. And this is a sheer, instead of white, this is like a sheer iridescent uh, glitter cream, which is really nice. But in terms of like what I love about this palette is actually these contour shades and they all work for me, which is amazing. <laughs> shades wise, um, this one's the most cool tone gray. This one is a um, more of a orangey shade. I say orange is a bad thing. It might work for you, but yeah. And this one is like, what's called mink. It's this really, really dark um, contour shade, which is very neutral once you buff it out. So I'm gonna do swatches really quickly. So here are the swatches. This first one is fawn, which is this light uh, taupe gray. Next one is shadow, which is actually a warmer, um, We'll see orange, but it's definitely getting much warmer and less pink toned than the other two. And then there's this neutral deep shadow called Mink for the face. And again, the pigmentation is really on par with the La Masca, but price point, this was like $40 for this little one. And the palette, this palette's like around 50. So yeah, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck in terms of like how much product you actually get in these. So yeah, those are my picks for the favorite cream formula. The next question is best warm contour. Now this could even be a bronzer if you're um, warm enough in terms of like pigmentation. But for me, it's actually one of the first products I ever bought for highlighting contouring intentionally. And that is the Makeup Forever Sculpt Kit. And this is number, um, I'm taking out of the packaging, but this is number four. And the shade is very warm on me, but it's still neutral enough that it didn't, um, it didn't turn me kind of oopa loopa or look too bad. Uh, again, it's very, very concentrated. So it does read warm when you pile it on like this, but when I shear it out with a stippling brush and just uh, layer it lightly, it did work very well. And also another trick I picked up is I took the highlighter shade and actually went over the contour again. And that just cooled down the, the, um, the look on my skin. So this is what I've been using for years. That's my trick to make it a little more wearable for me, but yeah, that's still my favorite warm contour. Now my best cool contour is coming from an unusual source because I'm so fair. Um, Kat Von D has a beautiful formula, but unfortunately her Shane Light palette 
face palette doesn't work for me. All the shades are too dark and too warm for me. But the shade Light Eye has a shade that I love to use as a contour and as Lazarus, which is this middle shade. Again, it's very cool. It's similar to that gray beige shade from Make It Forever, but yeah. This one, it reads just a little bit cooler on my skin tone, so I'm actually gonna swatch it on my other hand. So like you can see here, Lazarus is this slightly rosy tone once you put it on the skin. It looks much cooler and much grayer on the pan than it does on, but it reads so nicely. And usually if I'm using this palette for the eyes, I will just bust in my brush and use this shade anyways from my face as well instead of grabbing something new. So my next question is, what is your most natural? contour. Now that could be natural color or natural finish. My pick is actually Dim Light from Hourglass. Again, it's part of this palette. And this is just, if you want to like, I don't know, we want to contour without being absolutely noticeable at all. This is uh, soft enough that I can get away with just piling it on. Not that I want to kick it up, but it just gives my skin a little bit of extra dimension without actually contouring in the harsh way. So yeah, again, just warms up the perimeter and it looks warmer on my skin because again, I have an olive skin tone, so it's just deepening whatever we have instead of like adding more color to my skin. So that's the reason why I like dim light. So my next question is favorite formula for a contour and this is actually my newest product I bought, but I am loving the formula of this it's color. It's workable, but it's definitely my favorite formula. This is a very effortlessly sheer cream pigment. So unlike the um, La Masca and Anastasia ones, this one looks really, really um, dense in pigmentation, but it's a little more emollient. So apply it, it's that big, but if I start to buff it out along the edges, and you don't even need that much product. So it ends up having this skin-like texture where it doesn't impart too much color. And in my case, it actually cools down when I buff it out compared to what it looks like in the pan. So definitely my most favorite formula, texture-wise, really good. They do come in um, four, four shades total, sorry. So three different shades in this uh, light 21. But yeah, that's my favorite formula so far. Now for my seventh question is the best luxury. And this one I've got in a smaller version, but it's actually the Kevin Aquan um, Sculpt Powder. <sighs> the shade is so good. I should have just bought the shade though instead of this entire packaging. <laughs> because all I really am using out of this is really this uh, contour shade. It's this perfect taupe of um, grayness that isn't, doesn't read too warm or too cold tone. It'll work on almost every skin tone. Like, it does read a little yellow on me, but then again, I have yellow skin, so <laughs> it makes sense. But it just ends up, yeah, it's just really nice. It ends up getting dimension, a little bit of warmth to my skin without it going orange, which is what I'm looking for in a contour. So that's definitely my best pick for high-end uh, contour product. So my next question is Bex Drugstore Contour, and I've got two ones actually a contour, and I'm going to start with that, and it's the um, NYX Taupe uh, Blush. Now this one isn't quite like the original. I know that they've reformulated and the color is a little different, but for me, this is kind of the shade I was hoping for. It just, it works really well. It is a little bit powdery and um, for the most part blends really well on the skin. I know that some people have to have really extreme dry patches, it might catch, but overall just buffing it out and it'll, any sort of powderiness will work its way into the founda uh, your foundation or skin really nicely. My next pick is I knew as soon as I saw it that I had to try it out as a contour, even though it's not a contour product, but an eyeshadow. It's um, L'Oreal's Color Reach Eyeshadow in Cafe Ole. And it's this taupe that is slightly on the cooler pink tone. So the formula is really, really smooth actually. I really appreciate this formula. I know it, some people have issues with it blending and I, I can understand why I do have more of a pat and then blend motion with my products. So in this case it is very, very creamy and buttery on the skin. A little bit of buffing motion and it actually acts much more like the Il Masca cream powders but it does buff out beautifully into this like dewy, translucent awesomeness that's going on there. It reads definitely dark in the taupe, but it actually also reads cooler, so I actually am starting to incorporate this into my makeup uh, when I want to try something different for a contour. So my next question is favorite contour brand. In this case, it's, it may not be my current favorite, but definitely one I would recommend anyone, just because there's 
selection options. There's formula options. It's makeup forever, of course. And again, I have eyeshadows. I have cream contour, which is relatively new. And they have the original Pro uh, Sculpt kits that come with two colors. So each kit comes with a contour and highlight. They're both matte. They're just good. Like overall, Makeup Forever has been doing the contour game a lot more consistently than any other brand currently. It's just the trend is starting to pick up, so we have more options on the market. But yeah, Makeup Forever, hands down, my favorite brand for contour, period. <laughs> Now the next question is favorite packaging and I'm going to have to give it to Anastasia again because they have magnetic refillable pans. You can refill this palette. Um, again, it's magnetic and most magnetic palettes I have from like other brands, you have to poke it from the back, but they do have this well here. Now it's a little hard to get out with just your finger, but a pin will do it just quite nicely. So just pop it up like that and yep, yeah, ready to refill and to go. It's also all plastic, which is a bonus because you want to clean this up. Um, again, I can already see fingerprints on here, but it's, yeah, thankfully they did redo the packaging because so originally it was cardboard, but for cream products, you want to be able to clean this up and make it look presentable every once in a while. But yeah, that is definitely the nicest packaging. It's magnetic closure, the um, lid and windows not too thick or heavy, so most of the product weight is just in the bottom tray with the pans and each well has its own magnetic um, stamp or like a, a magnet that's about the same size as the well itself. So just really good packaging overall. So thank you Anastasia. <laughs> so my next question is your most used contour. Now I'm gonna have to give it to a different one than uh, the Makeup Forever Sculpt one. I love that one, but this one I used a lot more, and it's actually a uh, eBay. <laughs> it's actually an eBay product, and it was put on eBay after the uh, product line discontinued all their makeup, so it's really inexpensive. And the line's called Mother's Home, and our Mother Home, I should say, Mother's. <laughs> and it smells like baby powder. I'm not gonna lie, it's not not probably the most refined pick, um, product wise, but the shades in here were so good. Like they did, they did good justice for me for many years and it actually had little goes a long way. So some of the pat, like, like this is a pretty um, steep sort of embossing on it. So I've just barely kind of worn it out. And the two shades in here is this darker gray taupe and this lighter, more yellow taupe. Now the yellow taupe was definitely a little more um, workable for me in terms of like texture. Yeah, the gray, the deeper gray taupe is a little bit chalky. I had problems with it. It works fine on the skin, but I had problems when I had um, Carotel Polaris, which is like the chicken, chicken skin. You look it up. You look up chicken skin. That's usually the easiest way to find it. But basically, I have like um, not a rash, but like uh, textured bumps along my chin during the winter time and. Yeah, these powder, this powder in particular would catch on it, but it definitely was my go-to powder product after buying the Make It Forever uh, Sculpt, like the original Sculpt powder. That was the one I used for years, and then I got this one. I was using it for like consistently for years, just because the colors worked so well at the time. The next question is your least used, and it's actually another drugstore product from the UK, which is the Sleek Face Form. Now I've got this one in light, sorry, I'm gonna hold this. This is a light form. They do have a fair one, which I really should buy because I really do like the texture of this formula. It's just this reads very orangey on my skin, even though I try to share it out and work with it and I try to convince myself I liked it. It was still just a little too orange, so I stopped using it pretty quickly after reviewing it. So as you can see, it's definitely orange. It's not... <laughs> You can sheer it out. It does give you kind of a nice bronze look to your skin, but for me, it's, yeah. I had to really sheer it out to get a, you know, something a little more decent for my skin tone. It doesn't look bad, it just looks orange and not about that of a life. So my next question is your most unusual contour. Now again, I'm gonna give it out to every single eyeshadow I've been using as a contour product. So again, Makeup Forever Gray Beige, which is this lovely shade of light natural kind of looking contour um the l'oreal cafe au lait eyeshadow or model eyeshadow and lastly because i have two of them from her and it's actually the cap on d palette so let me just get them together so again lazarus is this um middle shade here 
but also this taupe shade in the Marduk palette, which I think is called Vanish? Yeah, I think it's called Vanish, this one here. It's a little bit on the warmer side, but they both work really well as actually a contour on my face. But in comparison, I would just do a quick swatch of both. So again, this is Lazarus, which is like a slightly cooler tone, and this is Vanish, which is slightly warmer tone uh, taupe, so it's still workable. I still prefer Lazarus just because it's a little bit less saturated, so it looks natural on my skin. Next up is your worst contour. What shade did not work on you or you just don't like the texture of? For me, I actually do like this palette with these two shades here on the uh, Pro um, Pro Highlight and Contour palette. And I, I'll link what the colors are exactly because they do have a name, but it's the first two shades. And they just read way too warm. Same with the Kat Von D's shade Light Up palette, the original one. But again, yeah, like that, that middle one, it's just downright orange on my skin tone. And this one is starting to get like camel-y kind of brown. So in comparison, that are those two shades in the bottom there. They just don't work for me. It's rather unfortunate. <laughs> so my second last question is, if you had to pick only one, what is your best contour shade out of everything you've tried? And mine, I love, all of them for different reasons. Personally, I would just like to see Kat Von D actually make this as a permanent one, like in a larger like contour kit size. This shade just, it's perfect because it's, I can sheer it out to be really sheer and natural. I can build it up and it still looks like it's uh, quite striking without it being too harsh. So yeah, if I had to pick one, this is at least the most universally working color out of all the ones I have that I would pick. So my last question is, what is the last five contour products you have bought? And I'm going to be a little bad because I've been buying a lot of contour in a very short amount of time. So I'm going to group them by what I bought them. <laughs> so the very last one I bought was the uh, con uh, contour Pro Sculpting Contour Palette from Makeup Forever. Um, yeah, this was just like, okay, let's try this because it's was on the fence about it and hearing more reviews and I finally got it and I don't work at purchasing it, so you it now. Uh, the second last one I bought was the Anastasia, so I've had a little more time to work with it, but mm, it's really nice, I'm not gonna lie. So the third item I bought recently was the NYX Taupe Brush, but I had actually bought this like about six months or prior just to see if the, any of the shades matched this and they didn't, so technically NYX would be my third last purchase just to make sure that everything was cohesive when I was doing reviews. <laughs> the fourth one I bought these two at the exact same time, so I'm counting as number four, are these face palettes from Maybelline and L'Oreal, just to see how they match up with um, other higher ends, easier to access stuff. They're okay. I, I like them. I just don't think they're the best ones I have. And the last one I bought in January, so this is kind of like the spread of how many I have face powder contour things I've been buying lately and it's the model eyeshadow from uh, L'Oreal and Cafe Au Lait and oh, so good too. It's like cream to powder like thick color pop. It's got a very similar texture working for it there. So that wraps up the contour tag. Again I'm going to take everyone to do this. Um, we're all about that shaping and chiseling our features so why not share what you love and I'm going to take again uh, Cora and Dustin just because they did the first two tags which again if you want to watch my highlighter and blush tags, it will be here somewhere, as I'm pointing in the corner here. We'll try. Anyways. <laughs> so I hope you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and comment down below if you liked any products, or if you did like some of the products. I'd love to hear people's feedback. My skin is dry and fair, and yeah, not every shade is going to work on everyone, and not every texture is going to work on everyone either. So yeah, and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye!